All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today is August 31st, 2020, the trade deadline for Major League Baseball. And we've seen some flurry of action, but today we get our first big transaction going on throughout the league. Mike Clevenger has been traded to the San Diego Padres. Absolutely insane, crazy deal uh, from the Indians and the Padres. We're going to talk about it today. I'm going to break it down for you guys. Lots of players being shipped around. Mike Clevenger, though, the huge piece here, going out west to help out the Padres, who are doing very well this season. I'm excited. This is a cool trade. We've seen a lot of other trades go down with the Padres already. They're making moves. They're fighting for this year. They want to win right now. It's going to be great. We've also seen some other pitchers being dealt uh, just hours before the deadline. I will cover all of those players at some point, whether in their own individual video like this one or in a recap video of the trade deadline. A lot of guys being moved, still a lot of time left, and teams that need to take action. It's going to be fun. Mike Clevenger has been traded to the Padres. Let's get into it. Okay, wait a second. As I'm filming this video, Ken Rosenthal dropping bombs on Twitter. The Blue Jays are supposedly getting Jonathan VR, and the Diamondbacks want to trade Starling Marte to the Marlins. What is this deadline? This is insane. Okay, um, back to the video, Mike Lemon to the Padres. This is crazy. So a quick overview of the trader. There's a lot of players involved. But the Cleveland Indians have traded right-handed pitcher Mike Clevenger, outfielder Greg Allen, and a player to be named later to the San Diego Padres in exchange for right-handed pitcher Cal Quantrill, left-handed pitcher Joey Cantillo, catcher Austin Hedges, shortstop Gabriel Arias, shortstop and second baseman Owen Miller, and outfielder Josh Naylor. That is a huge haul for Cleveland. And who wins this trade? Well, if you're talking about 2020, the Padres did 10 times out of 10. They just acquired Mike Clevenger. He is huge for that rotation. Adds a lot of depth to that five-man starter spot right now. That is amazing. But Clevenger is a free agent after 2020. So really, these last 30 or so games that the Padres have left, Clevenger has to be big for him. And then, of course, going to the postseason. Other than that, the Indians got a ton of prospects and some decent names in their end of the hall. Gabriel Arias was the seventh overall prospect for San Diego. Joey Cantillo was ninth, and Owen Miller was 11th in that farm system. So the Indians just got a nice little load of guys. Of course, now they are out one of their better pitchers, Mike Clevenger. But either way, again, Clevenger was going to be a free agent after 2020. So he's just a rental at the moment for the Padres. You can say, you know, of course, he might be re-signed by San Diego again this winter. But at the moment, he's only there temporarily. And the return for San Diego was primarily Mike Clevenger base. I mean, Greg Allen was thrown in there, outfielder. Uh, who knows how much playing time he's going to get with them. And a player to be named later, which usually means like a lower-end prospect or a guy that really isn't uh, big at the MLB level. So we'll see who that guy is. If we do find out, I will pin it down below in the comment section for you guys. You can take a look at that point. But huge this is this is an amazing trade i'm honestly at a loss of words uh there are a lot of rumors going around with mike clevenger saying that he was gonna get dealt the indians doing pretty well this season uh but they were gonna be sellers and they definitely are they just shipped out mike clevenger he i mean i, I really can't get over this this is insane clevenger probably one of the bigger pieces to be moved at this deadline and this is a great acquisition for the Padres. I'm really excited for them. I'm rooting for them. They've had a great year so far. It's getting better at this deadline. If we look at Mike Sunshine Clevenger, in 2020, he's pitched in four games, one win, one loss, and a 3.18 ERA. He has 22 and two-thirds innings pitched with 21 strikeouts and a 1.37 whip. But overall, looking at his career, he has pitched in 101 games, winning 42, losing 22, and racking up a 3.2 ERA in 523 and a third innings with 584 strikeouts and a 1.20 whip. This guy has really shaped out to be one of the best pitchers in the American League over the past few seasons. A great trade for the Padres. I'm a big fan of Clevenger. I like the Padres. I mean, it's hard to not like the Padres at the moment, unless you're maybe a Rangers fan. We're not getting into that. But, I mean, Mike Clevenger out to San Diego. I love this trade. This is awesome. I mean, the Indians didn't get a bad return either. But I really like what the Padres did here. It's a huge move. They want to go ahead and win right now. They want to win in 2020. And this is now going to be a rotation consisting of Chris Paddock to Nelson Lamette, 
Garrett Richards, and Zach Davies. I'm sure Clevenger will either be the ace or the number two man right behind Paddock. But crazy. I love this. Going back to San Diego, some other moves that they've made already at the deadline. They picked up Austin Nola and Jason Castro. They're making moves. I'm excited. I like this team. They're fun to watch. Halfway through the season, maybe a little bit more. You know, this is definitely be a team to watch for the remainder of the 2020 year. And going into this postseason, September 29th, they're going to be a fun team. That's for sure. Let's take a look at the National League West standings at the moment. So the Padres are currently second in the NL West division, just five games back of the Dodgers. Now San Diego owns a 21 and 15 win loss record, Los Angeles 26 and 10. If the season ended today, both teams would find themselves in that postseason, of course, because there are now eight teams representing the National League. The Padres are easily in as a second place team. And this is going to be fun. Clevenger adds a lot of depth to this rotation. He is a great pitcher. He's young. He's very good. He's got great stuff. I mean, the Padres team just in general is a young and scary team. Fun to watch. They're going to make the postseason. They have a great team. I'm excited. That's it. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, I'm going to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We are on the push for 1,000 subscribers, which is insane. Guys, let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this trade. I mean, overall, do the Indians win it or the Padres? Again, I'm kind of thinking for this year, Padres win it 10 times out of 10. But maybe in the future, the Indians might have the upper hand here. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.